Hi, my name is Michael Wilkinson. I'm the founder of Leadership Strategies and also the creator of our course, The Effective Facilitator. You may be wondering whether this course would be great for you. Well, I want to answer that question by giving you a sample of one of over 100 techniques we teach in the class. Now, we spent 45 minutes on this one single technique, so I'd like to give you just a two-minute segment of how we teach it. To get started, suppose you were facilitating a group looking to improve the hiring process, and you're ready to ask that first and most important question. We found there are two ways to ask that question, and I'm going to ask you, which is the better question? Let's look at the first way, which we call a type A question. The question would be asked, what problems exist with the way we currently hire people? That's one way to ask the question, we call it type A. A different way to ask the question is what we call the type B question. Think about the last time you hired someone. Think about the problems that occurred, the things that got in the way, the things that made you say, we've got to fix this process. What are the problems with the current hiring process? So let's ask the question, which is the better question, type A or type B? Most people say type B, but the real question is why? Why it's a better question? We think we know the answer. See, when you ask a type B question, people can visualize their answers. They can see it because you put them in a situation where they could see the situation and see the answers you're asking for. And when people can see their answers, you know what they do? They do this. They put up their hands, they're ready to answer, and many people do that. But if you ask it the type A way, which we call what the facilitator wants to know, what problems exist with the way we hire people today, what you're going to get is silence. Why? Because people have to think about their answers. What are they trying to do? They're trying to create the image you didn't create for them. And that means silence. So we know that if you can ask a type B question, it's better. Now here's the key, there are three steps to asking a great type B question. Number one, you begin with an image building phrase. Usually it starts with words like think about, imagine, consider, if. What a great way to start the question. If you start your question with what, eh, how, eh, why, eh, those are all type A ways to ask the question. You have to start with an image building phrase. Step two, you expand the image with at least two phrases. As we did in our question, think about the problems that occurred, the things that frustrated you, and then you ask the type A question. Then, what are the steps in the current hiring process? What are the problems in the current hiring process? So as you can see, there are just three steps. It's simple. Step one, begin with an image building phrase. Step two, extend the image with at least two phrases so people can see their answers and then you ask the type A question. Yes, it's simple, but not easy. So we give you plenty of opportunities to practice that technique so you get very comfortable with the secret of the starting question. This is one of over 100 techniques that we teach where you get an opportunity to practice the technique, learn the technique, get feedback on your use of the technique. So you walk away becoming what we call the effective facilitator. Join us for one of our upcoming classes or have one of our facilitators teach a class on your site. Your journey to improving your facilitation skills starts now. Contact us.